Also tonight, several employees contacted our newsroom over the weekend claiming a dental company headquartered in western New York is on the verge of closing. Here's Call for Action's Al Waters with more. Al? Well, Jackie, officials for All Care Dental locked their doors for good, it seems, at the 40 offices that were still in operation across the country. That shutdown puts about 600 employees nationwide out of work and hundreds of patients in limbo. Dozens of workers at All Care Dental's home office packed up their personal belongings before managers sent them packing. All Care's corporate offices and National Call Center are housed in these business suites in Clarence. I think we all felt it coming. Uh, we were talking about it just now in the office, and I think we all felt it coming, but not this quick and not this way. Miranda Cornell and the other workers we talked to told us they were put on two-week furloughs in December to save money and returned to work last week. The last week of December, um, we worked a full day on Monday, and then um, Tuesday we were brought in and the electricity was out. Then over the weekend, all care officials lowered the boom, calling office staffers and telling them to come in and collect their belongings. The company has reached the end of the road, although not a complete surprise. Little by little, offices were closing, and they were sharing staff, and uh, we were told different financial people were coming in to uh, help out. All care's only remaining dental office in the okay. Buffalo area is also closed. Nationwide, all care has been the target of hundreds of consumer complaints, and attorneys general in two states and New York have launched investigations into their ethical and business practices. Back in August, then Attorney General Andrew Cuomo announced he had subpoenaed business records for All Care and nine other dental service providers about possible kickbacks from a credit card company, Care Credit, used to lure patients under the guise of affordable dental care. The doctor, in many cases, is getting a fee from the financing company. And the financing companies providing the money to the doctor all up front. We're not sure how the attorney general's investigation might have affected All Care Dental's bottom line. Company officials haven't returned our calls. But we can tell you the company is the subject of a number of lawsuits, including a $135,000 settlement with the state of Pennsylvania last year. Alvarez News 4 at 530. Well,